uh, I mean, their best players was making shots, and you know we were forced to double, and they just found the open man. Following last night's disappointing effort, do you feel like this was a more spirited performance from you guys, more fight, more energy? Yeah, for sure, 100. percent You know that was the uh, the message before the game was to come out and play, you know, hard, play together, and uh, play with energy. And I think we did that. You obviously knew Kevin Durant is an amazing player, but going up against him for the first time, what was that like? I mean, just an unbelievable performance by him. Yeah, uh, that was that was uh, definitely a great performance. Uh, didn't miss many shots. Yeah, so that was a tough cover, man. Uh, give. Yeah, I, I don't got much to say about that, man. That was just, um, that was amazing. But sometimes, I mean, that's what you do, you know. It's Kevin Durant, so. Can you, can you learn something playing against a guy like that? I mean, obviously, as your career goes on, playing against guys like Kim, LeBron, Steph Curry, whoever, like, is that, is that gonna help? Yeah, I mean, I think just me being myself, you know, I try to be observant of, you know, guys like that. You know how they talk to their teammates. You know how they play the game. How they go about the game, and uh, you can always pick something pick something up from a player like him. Do you kind of game against guys like Kevin or Kevin specifically as a measuring stick game for yourself? Just being the first time around in the league and seeing what it's like to play against those guys and see what you stand. Yeah, I definitely. You know, it's my first time playing against him, so you know you don't know what it's like, so you got to find out. Um, you got to accept the challenge, and uh, today, you know, we did what we tried. We tried to do what we could do, you know. But sometimes you just, you just can't, you know. There's not much you can do when you got a player like that when he's hot. So just gotta, you know, take the blows, try and respond, and uh, move on. Uh, just to keep going. Um, you know, stay healthy. Um, you know, he's showing his respects. You know, I did the same. You know, that's one of the guys I always watched growing up. You know, he played for the Sonics, um, came to Seattle for the program. I remember watching him when I was real young, like 12 years old, watching him play in the in Seattle Pacific gym. So it's crazy to be on the NBA floor against him. It's a full circle moment. Is he still Sonic for you? You said what? Oh yeah, for sure to me, you know. He won the rookie of the year, you know, uh but did he win the rookie of the year? He won the rookie of the year, did he? I think so. Yeah, he won the rookie of the year playing for playing for the Sonics, so you know, that's proud for proud proud for me, proud for the city, um, to, you know, be able to claim him. Italian fans keep asking if you're going to play for Italy in the World Championship next year, which factors go into consideration for this choice and how likely is it to happen? Give me a percentage. <laughs> Well, it's going to be a couple of factors. I think just my, how I'm feeling after the season, <clears throat> um, how my body's feeling, how my mind's feeling, um, because going in those in those you know World Cup, it's not a you can't take it lightly. You know, it's just as competitive as the NBA, maybe even more. You know, countries are battling, so you can't go in there you know halfway in it. You got to be all the way committed, and so that's going to be something that you know I'm going to have to you know. Um, figure out myself, and if I'm feeling great, <clears throat> you know, then it's mo more likely. You know, if I'm beat up, then it's probably less likely. So it really just depends on how I feel, how my body feels. And Nico Magnon said that you're gonna be a superstar, and you might be the missing link for Italy to go back to the podium. Now, regardless of your choice, what's your take on that? What's your response? Oh yeah, I mean, yeah, me, Nico's reached out to me. I've talked to Nico, and uh, you know, he's just been on me about playing. And um, you know, they they've been very competitive, you know, uh, in the past couple, um, you know, competitions. So, um, I mean, I think what he's saying is is probably true. I mean, he's he's the point guard on the team, so he definitely knows what that team needs, and um, you know, he's a, he's a great player. What have you learned so far in this league? I think I just learned, you know, you, you can't dwell. Well, I'm still learning. I always say I've learned. I think I'm still learning that you can't, you can't, uh, you know, beat, beat yourself up. You know, you got to move on to the next play, the next game. Um, you know, today I was really frustrated with myself. You know, later in the game, uh, missing free throws, um, turn the last turnover, even though we was down a couple points, just, you know, losing the ball right there. 
Um, but really the free throws, um, really something that's been frustrating me the last couple of games. So I just got to move on <clears throat> and, um, you know, just bounce back. But you've been a leader as a rookie in the NBA. That's pretty impressive. How do you manage the pressure, responsibilities, expectations? Uh, I just try and stay true to myself uh, and what I know and just stay humble, stay grounded, and have fun, you know. Like right now, I wouldn't say I'm having the best time because I'm frustrated, but eventually when I wake up, I'll probably just, you know, try and forget about it, lighten up, and I'll uh, move on. But uh, really just trying to keep having fun with it every day. Hello. Excuse me. Uh, next week, uh, the Italian national team uh, puts a COVID control lander to me. And to talk, he said that he will try to convince you with a World Cup. So I want to know if you think that he will, he will have to try to convince you or it's all set. It's not necessary because uh, you have already decided uh, about your future. Uh, can you, the, the question? The question is that. On December 3rd, mm -hmm. the uh, Italian national coach, Mr. Pozzetto, yeah, yeah. Orlando to meet you in yeah. person, so you know that. Yeah, yeah. And said that he will try to convince you mm -hmm. to play for the Italian national team with the World Cup. Mm -hmm. So I want to know what is your feeling about this? Oh, what is my feeling? Oh, I'm, I'm excited to meet him. Uh, I'm excited to talk to him, hear what he has to say. Um, and just learn more about the team, learn more about the uh, the federation just as a whole and what they're all about. Um, really all I've been, you know, in communication has been over text or phone. So to meet him in person and uh, have him come to Orlando would be great. Okay. Excuse me, last question. Last one. Yeah, okay. Uh, last time in New York you said that you have to decide about your future. You have to, you, you have to talk with, you, uh, with your agent about your future. What did you mean exactly? Uh, I just had to have to talk to him. Um, he's a Mike Miller, my agent, is a guy who I very much trust and who I always go to for advice or for, you know, wisdom. And uh, so after the season, you know, I definitely have to talk to him because, like I said, you know, my body, my mind, see where all that's at. And like I said, the World Cup is really, really competitive. So I have to be ready to, if I am to play, I have to be ready to fully commit my body, my mind again to another team. So, you know, that's something that, you know, I'm going to have to speak to my agent and my family about. Um, but, yeah, I, I didn't mean like my agent, like something crazy. Just he's a guy who I go to for advice. So that's all it was. Thank you, guys. <clears throat>